good evening to all of you i hope all of you are able to hear me Am I audible to all of you? Okay, so uh, today's class, today and the next class is very, very important for the, your uh, this topic. It's uh, called as the grouping and distribution is the one of the topic which is going to be used very much not only in the permutation combination we will be using in the different different uh, places in probability it come in use in binomial it come in use and so many different equation solving also concept it use come in the use right so let's get started with this one first uh, five ten minute i will give you the fundamental of this what exactly mean by the, this chapter and what uh, we are going to learn into this so <clears throat> see when i say that key grouping and distribution give heading heading everybody grouping and distribution distribution what exactly mean by the, this concept and what we are trying to do. We have the some objects and we want to make the group out of it. Like suppose if I say I am having the some one coins are there. One, two, imaginary coin you can take it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight coin I am having. I want to make a group of Two group I want to make, two group of coins. You can say two bag of the coin I want to make it. In this two bag, I want to keep the coins. So the first question comes, ki suppose this bag name is A, this bag name is B. So in the first bag, in these bags, how many coins I'm going to put? That is called as the size of the group. Size of group means what? Size of group means number of object in the group number of objects in the groups in the group so we should be clear to what exactly size of the group if i say okay this should get the three coin this should get the five coin now it's fine you cannot say that this should get the two coin and this should get the five coin because that is not grouping Grouping means what? Whatever the object is there, you have to separate it. Some object should be in one group, some object should be in one another group. Group means it doesn't mean that really bag is there or container is there. Just you have to make partition. Ki what are the groups you can make it? Whatever the partition you can make it. So this kind of things, why not possible? Because total is the seven object, but we are having the eight object. We should get the eight object total summation. So three, five, yes, correct. 4-4, four, four, correct. 0-8, correct. There may be chance that one group contains 0 object, another group contains all the 8 objects. So, size of group means what? Number of objects in the group. I hope able to understand everybody the point what I am trying to tell to you. So, whenever you have to get the group, the first thing is that it's just objects distribution you are doing in the two different places or three different places whatever number of groups they are saying it now this is the topic what we are going to study in this so here only we are going to talk um, now what are the situation can be happen first case case one case one size of group is predefined size of group is predefined size of groups 
is predefined is predefined this is the what the meaning what is the meaning means they already told they they will tell you already that ki means ki, okay this first group should contain three objects second group contain five objects fourth third group contain this many objects so number of objects in each group how many is there that they will already predefined if that case is there so how we will deal that case and case two will be there when the size of group is not predefined this is the only two cases is there we will not make things complicated very simple whenever they are asking ki, we have to do grouping so we will say that ki, this is the ki, bhai, first tell me size is predefined or not if size is predefined it's a very very simple direct formula will come if size is not predefined then also simple sometimes it can become complicated so there we will use coefficient method for solving such kind of question but size of group is predefined it's a very simple very simple I will start with the simple example which you can, you should able to understand. If I say, simple example, just nothing to be right, just understand. Suppose if I say A, B, C, D, distribute in two group, distribute in two groups, no formula, nothing, manual, let's do, no permutation combination. I want to make two group of it. So what do you say? One group may contain A, other group contain maybe B, C, D. Yes or no? B, C, D or C, B, D. Because group means how, what are the objects are there inside that. How objects are kept, it does not matter. Arrangement does not matter. Inside the group, arrangement does not matter. Other possibility is what? Keep this group contain B and this group contain A, C, D. Right, A, B, C distributed in two group of one and three each and three each because we are talking about the predefined. Means one group should contain one object, other group contains three objects. So you say A, B, C, D, or B, A, C, D, or you can say C, A, B, D, or you can say D, A, C, D, A, C, B. So four possible groups are there. This is the only four possibility. This four possibility, this is the group one. This, sorry, uh, first possibility ki group 1 contain A and group 2 contain B, C, D. This is the second possibility. This is the third possibility. And this is the fourth possibility. That's all. This is the things is there. Uh, this is what the meaning is going to take place. Grouping. When you say the grouping, I take a simple example so that you can understand meaning. Because solving question is very easy. Don't worry. So it means one object here and three object here, one object here, three object here. See, in this also group one contain one object, three object, one object, three object, but the objects are different. Here A is there in the first group, here in first group B is there, here first third, first group C is there, here first group D is there. Understood my point? Huh. So this is the what the meaning of the grouping. I taken very simple of number of object and only two group I take it. It can be happened different, different way. So what exactly, how to deal with the, this kind of situation? It's a simple first I will tell you formula and after that only we'll see the proof. Otherwise, you'll get confused if I'll say proof initial stage. So write down the point. Number of ways, number of ways to make to make m groups out of out of n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus so on nm objects objects means we have to make m groups out of this many objects why i am writing like this i will tell you such that such that ith group get ni objects. Now you have, I hope you understood what is the meaning. Means first group should contain n1 object, second group contain n2 number of object, third group should contain n3 number of object, and mth group contain nm number of object. How to write it? Because formula and all we cannot remember. Number of way to write the grouping or grouping formula is very simple. 
चेक टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट एन वन प्लस एन टू प्लस एन थ्री प्लस सो ऑन टिल एन एम फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय फर्स्ट ग्रुप नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट फैक्टोरियल इनटू सेकंड ग्रुप नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट फैक्टोरियल इनटू थर्ड ग्रुप नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट फैक्टोरियल एंड सो ऑन एम एथ ग्रुप नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट फैक्टोरियल दिस इज द आंसर वेरी सिंपल स्टेट फॉर्मर दिस आंसर वेरी सिंपल everybody understood the point is it clear to all of you now here one line you have to answer if order is not important i will explain you the meaning of this statement order is not important if order is not important what exactly mean i will tell you don't worry first basic thing only i want that you should keep this thing in mind second we'll say same thing n1 plus same thing same thing this but this into m factorial if order is important i will explain you don't worry order is important this is the what the mean formula we'll see derivation don't worry it's a very simple derivation first understand otherwise derivation if first i will tell you will get confused number of groups always equal to total number of objects total number of objects factorial divided by in first group whatever number of objects factorial second group whatever number of object factorial and so on this is the grouping way if order is not important if order is not important and if order is important same thing into number of groups factorial number of groups factorial just you have to remember this for the next 10 to 15 minute after that you will understand how to derive all this formula and how to write it directly for example suppose if i say i want to make uh out of 10 group i want to make three group one object should contain two object one group should contain two object other group should contain three object and third group should contain five object so what is the logic total number of objects divided by two factorial first group number of object factorial into second group number of object factorial into third group number of object factorial this is the number total number of groups this is the total number of groups Have you understood? This is the total number of groups. If order is not important, now what is the meaning order important or not? Very simple, straightforward meaning. If there is any human is there to receive the group, not that there, T H E R E. they are to receive the group receive the groups then order important then order important or you can say distribution means we are distributing in the people if they say in how many way i can distribute so it means make group and distribute give that group to the some people so somebody should be there to receive the group so if anybody is there to receive the group order is important if nobody is there to receive the group order is not important think carefully if i am having some few gold coin what is there gold coin different gold coin 1 2 3 uh, uh, on coin it's a printed 4 suppose i made it two group 1 and another group i make 2 3 4 i just make it this is the what i just make the group nobody is there to receive the group so this is the way but if anybody is there to receive the group then it's a matter ki this group is going where and this group is going where if they are gold coin you can understand if this group who is getting they will not be that much happy compared to the person who is getting this group so their arrangement is also important to so arrangement how to do 
by total number of groups factorial that's what you have to multiply so if i say in how many way this 10 different object can be distributed into three group people so that ki one person get two another person get three another person get five it means this is the grouping and arrangement of the grouping arrangement of the grouping three group to into three factorial all of you understood the meaning of this please confirm everybody is this point clear to everybody when order important when order is not important is this clear to everybody if somebody is there to receive the group means we have to do arrangement of the groups and whatever number of objects are there group is there they will behave like object so if three group is there to so three factorial way we can distribute uh, arrange them into three factorial will do but that will do only when the they especially mention in the question ki order is important or they will not mention in the question but there will be some people to receive the group i hope it's clear to everybody now let's see the some more into this very fast we'll see suppose i want to distribute 20 different be clear all the objects should be different 20 different fruits in four kits getting getting four fruits six fruits three fruits seven fruits 20 different fruits into four kits i want to distribute 20 different fruits into four kits so that each one kid get four fruits another kid get six fruits which kid get six fruits? i don't know but one get four another get six another get three and another one get seven so what i'll say first thing grouping anyhow you have to do so let's do grouping first is just make packet of the fruits 20 fruits was there in one bag i make four packet in how many way i can make four packet so that key one packet contain four another packet contains six another packet contains three and another packet contains seven so we'll say 20 factorial divided by total number of object factorial divided by first group number of object factorial into second group number of object factorial into third group number of object factorial into fourth group number of object factorial but these are just packet we made this packet has to be placed with the kids think carefully suppose there's a k1 k2 or let's take k1 k2 k3 as like this places k1 k2 k3 k4 these are kids and i'm having packet how many packet four packet p1 p2 p3 p4 and this packet making process has been done just packet me um, now this packet has to be placed with the kids so this p1 can go to the k4 also k3 also k2 also k1 also so it's it, it's look like that ki there are four objects four places so in how many way i can arrange them into four factorial that's why this four factorial is necessary to do Yes, now this point is clear. Whenever there is the people to receive the group, whenever distribution is taking place, the group arrangement also you have to do. I will be going slowly reverse way. Try to understand the point. What exactly mean by reverse way? Slowly I will go the previous things I will go. What is the process? Whenever distribution is going to be done, first you have to do grouping. And then check that key. Is there anybody to receive the group? It means distribution. They will sometimes they'll mention directly in how many way I can distribute. It means there are two things inside group, make group, and then distribute. So make group and distribute means what? The object is there, you have to place into that. Again, repeating the things. In how many ways? Write the question this time. You have to give the answer. In how many ways? In how many ways? In how many ways? We can distribute 
distribute seven different pencils to three students so that they get two pencil one pencil and four pencil so that they should get two pencil one pencil and four pencil in how many way we can break it answer everyone I think uh, one person was having doubt. Is it clear now? Please confirm. You wanted to repeat. Everyone, please simple here. Yeah? Don't waste time here. Okay, so this will be what? 7 factorial divided by 2 factorial, 1 factorial, no need of writing, but still will 4 factorial. Is there somebody to receive the group? Yeah, some chanku manku is there. We can distribute it to 3 students. So it means we have to we have to arrange this 3 group. We got 3 group. This 3 group arrangement we have to do into 3 factorial. Question over. Whatever answer is going to come, I don't know. Uh, it will be I think 7 into 6 into 5 divided by 2 into 3 factorial. So this will become 3 and the 6, 10, 15, 19, 92, 70, something will come. I don't know. So whatever the answer. That will be answered. Yes. So that's very simple. Up now, let's understand what actually happening inside the story. This is the formula I told you. Actually, Forget distribution. Suppose you have to do manually. I am having three kids. A, B, C. I am having seven objects. I want to make three group. Let's make first group. First group in how many way you can make? First group you want to make two object you want. No? Suppose one uh, packet is there. In that packet I have to keep two pencil. So first I need two pencil. In how many way I can select two pencil? Seven C2. And now that two pencil gone in the packet. Now balance is the five pencil only. From five pencil, I need one pencil. Five C1. And that balance four pencil. And I want all four pencil. Four C4. Yes or no? Three packet ready. Three packet ready. Of these three packet, I have to arrange it. In how many way? If suppose uh, we there is nobody to receive the group, then this is the answer. But here since they are to receive the group, so into 3 factorial. Expand. You will see same thing. So this 7C2 means what? 7 factorial by 5 factorial, 2 factorial. Into 5C1 means what? 5 factorial by 4 factorial into 1 factorial. 4C4 means what? 4 factorial by 0 factorial into 4 factorial into 3 factorial. Check. You will see that exactly same thing is coming 5 factorial bye bye. 4 factorial bye bye. And what else bye bye? 0 factorial anyhow is 1. Leave it out this one. And that's all. So you are going to get 7 factorial by 2 factorial, 4 factorial, 1 factorial into 3 factorial. See, same thing was there as what we are doing earlier. Am I clear to everybody? This is the what the process. So you'll say, sir, why we are doing the drama, why we are learning the formula, and why we are learning in different way, you'll understand soon. This way it creates sometime confusion for initial stage. Later stage, you will you will also do by this way. So, what I'm trying to tell from the last you can say 25 minutes, grouping and distribution, there are two different things. Grouping means first you have to make group. 
Distribution means arrangement of groups. Grouping is the different thing. Distribution is different thing. But distribution cannot be done without grouping. You have to do grouping and then arrange the group. That's called as the distribution. Am I right? Now. So this is the way. But don't do by this. As the way I, I, I told you, do by that way. <clears throat> do by that way. Look carefully. If I have to say, ki, this is what we did. This, in this, some modification do. Number of way to make M groups out of this object such that ith group contain ni object. This you have to apply only when the group size are different. This is for group size are different. Group size are mention this point is a very important word. size are different are different imagine a situation if group size is not different here if you see all the example i never seen that key two two or six i didn't make the any group all group size are different check it whatever example we did 20 we see 4c637 here also all these are different group size are different then only apply if group size are same then what will be happen write the point number of ways to make m groups out of m n different objects M in different object such that such that each group contain n objects. Make M group I want to make each group contain n object. The total number of object will be M n. That's why I am writing M n. Understand? Will be same logic. Total number of objects factorial divided by first group number of factorial to n factorial into second group number of factorial n factorial n factorial n factorial how many times m time so we can write this one as n factorial raised power m till here it clear to all of you this is but there is a difference what difference into m factorial this line is very important. This line is very important. Whenever size of group are identical, whatever groups are there whose size are identical, that many you have to do division. As just to remember it, we do arrangement na? A, A, B, C, D. So we do 5 factorial by 2 factorial. Why? Because A, A identical. Their interchanging is not allowed. But that logic here not working. But just to remember this point. Whenever those groups whose number of objects are identical will divide by that. This is the only things you have to do. Of course, if order is not important. If order is not important. And if order is important, same rule. Mn total divided by n factorial power m into m factorial. Because m number of groups are there whose objects are same into m factorial if order is important you'll say sir this m factorial m factorial can get cancelled yes it can get cancelled it will cancel but i don't want to do to make it a, a separate formula always remember this logic order is important it's not difficult don't worry it's very simple that's what what are you what we learn out of it Whatever number of objects are, uh, number of groups are there whose uh, number of objects are identical, that many number of factorial has to be divided. Why? You will see, you will learn very soon. Look at here. Look carefully. Suppose if I say, I want to distribute 20 object into four groups. One group contain four object, other group contain four object, other group contain three object, other group contain 
नाइन ऑब्जेक्ट करेक्ट नो हाँ केयरफुली वॉज एवरीबडी आई फॉरगेट वॉट आई टॉट यू अर्लियर दिस पॉइंट लेट्स फॉरगेट रूल रिमेंबर टोट वी हैव टू फर्स्ट आई एम मेकिंग ग्रुपिंग जस्ट ग्रुपिंग आई विल से ट्वेंटी फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाई दिस ग्रुप फोर फैक्टोरियल इन टू दिस फोर फैक्टोरियल इन टू दिस थ्री फैक्टोरियल इन टू दिस नाइन फैक्टोरियल इन टू इज देर एनी कॉमन यस फोर फैक्ट दिस इज द टू ग्रुप दे आर आइडेंटिकल देर नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट इन साइड देम आर आइडेंटिकल इन टू टू फैक्टोरियल into two factorial not four factorial into two factorial because only these two group are having same number of objects so their interchanging will not be allowed this is the grouping only if by chance they say that ki there are the people to receive the group to into four factorial also you have to do into four factorial also you have to do in that case all of you able to understand the point which i am telling are is this clear to everybody please confirm everybody is this clear these are just grouping not distribution if distribution to into whatever number of people that factorial right slowly you see that ki all this theory will go waste we don't require we have i also don't remember anything when i'm writing theory i'm just recalling the logic and writing it imagine if i am having 52 cards all of you know cards no ha huh. packet 52 pack of cards and four player four player i want to distribute equally into them i want to distribute equally into them so what do you say to equally into them means what four player so 13 each will get bhai right? four player equally we want to distribute no so first make grouping 52 factorial by 13 factorial into 13 factorial into 13 factorial into 13 four time four group and all four group are identical uh, having same number of object to so into four factorial this is the compulsory this line you should not forget but this is just grouping this is just grouping into arrangement of the groups into the people into four factorial be clear groups always consider as a different do not consider as identical to so four factorial will get cancel and finally your answer will be 52 factorial by 13 factorial power 4 am i right the same situation if i say 52 cards i want to distribute into four player so that ki three of them three of them them get 17 cards and one of them get just one card just one card everybody can you type the answer i just you can type something like that a factorial in typing divided by b factorial c factorial right eh? into i will understand means you don't have to do mathematical typing can you tell me the answer anybody Fifty-two cards. I want to distribute into four people. Three of them get just seventeen. Uh, they get seventeen cards each, and one of them get just one card. Answer. Answer. Answer.
अरे वॉट है सिंपल क्वेश्चन भैया 52 कार्ड्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इनटू द फोर पीपल थ्री ऑफ देम गेट 17 ईच एंड फोर्थ वन पर्सन गेट जस्ट वन कार्ड यस वेरी सिंपल भी है फिफ्टी टू फैक्टोरियल बाई सेवनटीन फैक्टोरियल इंटू सेवनटीन फैक्टोरियल इंटू सेवनटीन फैक्टोरियल पावर थ्री इंटू वन फैक्टोरियल आई दर यू राइट आर नॉट डज नॉट मैटर दिस इज द ग्रुपिंग दिस इज द ग्रुपिंग इन टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन टू फोर फैक्टोरियल फिनिश क्वेश्चन ओवर सॉरी 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 this is the point which i was telling you ki you should not forget and i am forgetting because three group having the equal number of object into three factorial yes clear ha huh. everybody understood this point okay i will give the simple question so that you can give the numeric answer writing numeric answer will be 10 different fruits in four uh nahi four by three in three people so that they get uh four four two objects give answer numeric answer everybody please quickly everyone i will also solve it so that i can verify your answer is correct or not numeric answer everybody me calculate use the calculator my calculation is very poor hmm, different answer i am getting maybe i am doing mistake okay let's check it into three people so 10 factorial first grouping i am doing 10 factorial by 4 factorial 4 factorial 2 factorial since the two group having same so into 2 factorial into 3 factorial this should be the answer right so 10 factorial i can write 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 factorial to so 1 4 factorial will get cancel this 4 factorial will left 24 and this is 4 Into six, three factorial six, six four ja this one sixteen. So whatever answer is going to come, I don't know. This this will be answer. You can cross check it that you got it correctly or not. Right, I think it will come nine four five zero. I guess so. Yes, 
that will be answered. So I hope all of you got clear idea that ki how it's taking place. Ab now question arise, ki bhi how what finally we should remember. Whenever you have to distribute, first thing always check, check that ki how many objects are there. That number of factorial divided by each group factorial into if distribution to into number of group factorial and then you have to check it if you have to divide or not. Am I right? <clears throat> so uh, I didn't get everybody's correct answer. So I should ask some other question also. Tell me six objects in equally in three people equally in three people at least this question give me answer everybody so that i can go ahead okay somebody having doubt with the, this part check it here 10 object we have to distribute into three people so first thing total number of object what is the total number of object 10 so into i'm writing it here watch it carefully 10 factorial divided by first group contain how many object four object to into four factory here four factorial into second group four factorial third group two factorial yes or no and two group are identical to into four factorial sorry two factorial because two group are identical whatever number of groups are identical that two factorial this is a grouping into distribution of this to into three factorial this will be the answer. Is this clear? The person who asked, please confirm. So this one, I guess everybody got it. Let's see. Six factorial divided by each group contain how many objects? Two, two objects. Yes or no? So two factorial, two factorial, two factorial. But three groups are there who's having same number of objects. So into three factorial. And now arrangement of these three groups to so into three factorial because we are distributing equally in people. Human is there to receive. Now you can see very clearly that these two will get cancelled and six factorial will be equal to 720 divided by 2 into 2 into 8. So the answer will be 90. So 90 V is there. I hope now it's clear to everybody. Can I go ahead now? The next segment. Some people never give the answers. Answer writing is very important. Either you are writing correct or whatever answer you are getting, write it. If you are not getting, mention that you are not getting. Or repeat the any particular point. Okay. So this is the way we used to do distribution. When the size of group is predefined. What actually logic behind it? Logic is the simply selection. We are doing selection. That's all. That's only part. Now, next point. Give the heading will be. Number of ways to distribute an identical object. Be clear. There I was talking different object an identical object into R groups into R groups that's only things means up. Now listen to me. What by reading this what you can understand. I have to distribute N identical objects into R groups. Here size of group is not predefined. Let's start with the simple example. After that, we'll come to the point. Suppose if I say I'm having five A letters, I want to distribute into the three group. I want to distribute into the three groups. 
So what is the possibility? Either you will give here 0 later, here also 0 later, here 5. Or you can give 0 here, 1 here, 4 here. Or you can give 0 here, 2 here, 3 here. Or you can give 0 here, 3 here, 2 here. Or you can 0 here and you can give them uh, 4 here, 1 here. And so on. Possibilities will be there. So this kind of question, what exactly we should do? Check it. I want to distribute these three A letters into three, uh, five uh, A letters into three groups. Please listen carefully. Group means what? Just in a box, you have to keep it. Actually, box is not there. Imaginary situation. Like, imagine. <clears throat> please concentrate this point, everybody. Uh, yeah, somebody saying this is the bigger coin method. Eh? Forget about the name of method. Okay, we'll not talk about the name of method. We'll just do the things. There is the five point. I want to distribute into the three group. First, let's say two group. I want to make two group. I want to make two group. If suppose three coins on table is kept. On table in front of you five coins are kept I want to make two group why not we can do one thing I'll put my hand in between any two coin anywhere I will keep my hand left side one group right side another group can I say or not I'll just keep my hand and I will say left side is the one group and right side is the another group yes we this is your coins. Suppose this is kept on a table. Right? Let's make table also. Table. Wait. I'll make table. Suppose this is the table. Kept on table. Now what I will do, I will keep my hand anywhere. Suppose I say I will keep my hand here. Look. Two group I want to make. This is my hand. I just kept partition. I'm doing partition. I just kept my hand there. So you can see very clearly here that key one group is this which contains two objects, another group contains three objects. Of this hand, I will move it here. Now one group contains one object, other group contains four objects. I will shift here. I will say one group contains zero object because there is no object here. Other group contain four or five objects. I can keep it here. One group contain three objects. Other group contain two objects. I can keep it here. One group, this group contain four objects. This group A object. I can keep it here. This first left side group contain five objects. Right side group contain zero object. So basically, if you want to make two group, you, you have to put your one hand and make it move. Yes or no? As you'll make move, new, new group will form. Means new way to form the group. Correct. Now imagine I want to make three group. What I will do, I will bring my both the hand and I will keep it like this and separate it. I will say what, right side one group, left side another group and in between another group. Because size of group is not defined to all the possibility I will take in consideration. Do you understand? All of you understood or not? This grouping process, all of you understand how to get the answer that different possibility. Is this clear to everybody? Now, of course, one thing I can say, ki I don't have the more than two hand. Suppose they say that ki make the, the four group. So how will I bring three hand? It's not possible. So what I will do, if I have to make, suppose out of it, I have to make, imagine, I want to make two group. I will say, I will put one of my hand. Now hand will not put. We will put a letter P in between anywhere. Now I will say that ki this arrangement of P will represent different possibility. Yes or no. So basically we have to arrange them. In how many way you can arrange these total letters. P is the partition. P 
is the partition. So what do you say in how many way you can arrange this? Total how many letters? Six letter, six factorial. By out of this six letter, five are identical, five factorial. So answer will be six. Hello. This point have you understand? Is this point clear to everybody? We arrangement P shifting is that giving new group, new way of group. So shifting in how many way I can do? By shifting means arrangement. So six factorial by five factorial. Why five factorial, sir? All five letters are the identical, no? By A A A A are identical. This portion, which I P, I make it, it's a hand. So one P, one hand and five A later. So in how many way you can arrange? By simply, if anybody say, in how many way these letters can be arranged? So you will say total six letters, six factorial by, out of them five are identical, five factorial. Six way. Why six way is coming? Check it. One possibility P, A, 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 A. A. That means left side group 0 object, right side group 5 object. Other possibility A, P, A, A, A. Other possibility A, A, P, A, A. Other possibility A, 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 P, A, A. Other possibility A, 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 P, A. Other possibility this. Yes or no? This means what? This means left side group 0 object, right side group 5 object. This means left side group one object, right side group four object, and so on. So you can count it one, two, three, four, five, six. Six different group possibilities are there. Am I clear? Right? So the simple logic we have to do just insert portion if identical object. Again, I'm saying if identical object, just insert the portion P and then arrange them answer but in this case the empty group is allowed be clear empty group may be happen zero object also can be happen now imagine i am having now coming to this point before that let's see one more question if i say i want to distribute uh, i want to make the distribute a a a a 4 3, 3, 6, 3, 9 into 4 groups. If empty group allowed, empty group allowed. What do you say? By 4, na, theek hai. So 1, 2, 3, 4, this one, 4 P bring it. Nee, not 4 group, so it means 3 P I need. Only 3 P. Only 3 P. 3 P means Three partition means four group. If you want R group, so you want R minus one partition. So in how many way it can be done? So here three, three six, three nine, three twelve. So total twelve factorial by this nine are same nine factorial, and this three p also same by partition. You mean not it. three factorial? This will be answer. Is this clear to everybody? Am I clear? Now, imagine if I am having n objects, n diff identical objects, identical object again and again I am saying n identical object. I want to make into R groups, R groups. So what is the meaning? It means there are n identical plus r minus 1 identical. r minus 1 partition, n object. So total number of object, how many? n plus r minus 1. Are yes or no? Divided by n identical to n factorial, r minus 1 identical to r minus 1 factorial. Check it. I did correct.
Am I clear to everybody? So finally, actually, if you look this, this is nothing but n plus r minus 1, cr minus 1. n plus r minus 1, cr minus 1. So, let's come to the main point which can finish the things. Number of n and guy into r group will be n minus 1, sorry, n minus n plus r minus 1, cr minus 1 if empty group allowed. Empty groups are allowed. Otherwise, n minus 1, cr minus 1, if empty group not allowed. Empty groups are not allowed. Are empty group not allowed means what? P will not go to the extreme like A, 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 A. Two group I want to make it, suppose. So P cannot come here and P cannot come here. That's all. P cannot come here, P cannot come here. So that, that way you have to do arrangement. But best way is that you just remember this point. It's more than enough to solve any question. Number of way to distribute n identical into identical object. First important thing, n ident identical object distribution we are doing. Second things, is the empty group allowed or not allowed? Here order does not mean anything because there is the size of group is not predefined. Here size of group is not predefined. Any object, any number of object can come in a, any group. I am sure it is clear to everybody. Is this clear? Write a question and answer me. In how many ways? Ways. 10 identical fruits can be distributed among three children. Such that any number of fruits can be given to any student. To any student means any student can get any number of fruits. In how many way I can distribute? Answer everybody. Ten identical fruits I want to distribute into among three children so that any number of fruits can be given to him. Means we have to distribute into three groups, empty group allowed. That's all. Answer fast. It's a damn simple question. Just you have to apply formula, nothing else. Got everyone? Yes. Very simple. We are 10 plus 3 minus 1, C 3 minus 1. That means 12C2, 12C2 will be 66, 12 into 11 by 2, 66 will be answer. Now listen, second bit, listen carefully. I will remember only this formula, only this. The second one why I wrote? Just for formality, because sometimes some children used to refer book and they'll say, sir, there are plenty of formula given, you did not write. So just to psychological effect, I don't remember, you don't use this. I use this one. Check. Suppose question coming. At least one fruit, at least one fruit to each of them. Listen me, I will do. One way is that 
कि एम्प्टी एटलीस्ट वन फ्रूट टू ईच ऑफ देम मीन्स एवरी वन गेट एटलीस्ट वन फ्रूट मीन्स एम टी ग्रुप नॉट अलाउड तो डायरेक्टली वी कैन यूज फॉर्मुला टेन माइनस वन सी थ्री माइनस वन एंड दैट इज नाइन सी टू नाइन सी टू विल बी नाइन इंटू एट बाई टू मीन्स थर्टी सिक्स करेक्ट बट एज आई टोल्ड यू आई डोंट रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला यू ऑल्सो कैन नॉट रिमेंबर वी हैव टू कम वी हैव टू मिनिमाइज आवर फॉर्मूला ओके बेसिक लॉजिक अप्लाई I have to send ten identical object into three boxes. I mean, they are children, but imagine a boxes, three boxes, chunku, manku, tanku, right? At least one, everyone should get it. Please listen, everyone, carefully. At least one, everyone should get it. What I will do? Acha, one, everyone should get it. So why not give one to him? One, I I will give to him. One, I will give to him. I one, I will give to him. First, whatever their minimum requirement, I am finishing it. If I say in how many way I can give one fruit to a ten identical fruit, I want to select one fruit. Only one way I can select. By all are identical, na? So one fruit he can get by how many way? One way. and one fruit he also can get by one way one way yes or no now how many fruits left basically seven fruits left seven fruits left right ab now their minimum condition i already satisfy bhai minimum condition i already satisfy ab now i am free and Empty group. I can just I have to distribute seven identical object into three group. Empty group allowed because whatever minimum condition that is already there. So if he is he is getting zero fruit, no problem. He will say I am having one fruit, boy. Right? So in how many way I can distribute seven identical object into three group? If empty group allowed, I will say seven plus three minus one c three minus one. You can see it's a nine c two again coming. is this clear to everybody everyone understood this point third bit of the question suppose if i say A get minimum two, B get minimum one, C get minimum three. Do you understand the question? I say, is A, B, C are name of children. they put the condition bhai a must get minimum two fruit b should get minimum one fruit c should get minimum three fruits tell me in how many way i can distribute this 10 fruits into this three kids answer very quickly very simple question very simple question no mistake calculation should be correct a should get minimum 2 b should get minimum 1 c should get minimum 3 I hope you understood. It's very simple now. This is the one. So, hmm. boy, A should get minimum. So, give the minimum two, two here. 
B should get minimum 1, give the minimum, minimum condition, satisfy it and this should get 3. Now how many fruits left? 3, uh, 4 to 6 already gone, only 4 fruits left and now no condition. I will say 4 plus 3 minus 1, C3 minus 1 or you can say 6 C2 which is 15. I'm sure it's clear to everyone. Right? Next. Imagine this equation. Okay? If I ask you, find number of in non-negative integral solution. Non-negative integral solution. Of course, if they ask find number of solution, to infinite because number of variable 2, equation 1, to infinite solution possible. But they are saying find the number of non-negative integral solution. Let's do manually first. We can say x get 0, y is 10. x get 1, y is 9, 2, 8, 3, 7, Possible, possible value of x and y I am writing. 4, 6, 5, 5, 4, 6, uh, sorry, 6, 4, I am sorry. 6, 4, 7, 3 and 8, 2, 9, 1, 10, 0. If you count it, total number of solution will be 11. Yes or no? 11 solution. Have you understand the point? There are total 11 solutions of this equation. This equation having total 11 solutions. Non-negative integral solution. But if you notice carefully here, here what actually is happening? This is nothing but the grouping. I am having 10 identical objects. I have to distribute to x and y. By any equation, this is the, what the meaning. x plus y equal to 10. Means I can assume that okay, I am having 10 identical objects. I have to distribute into two groups whose name is X and Y. Whose name is X and Y. And non-negative they say there may be chance that X can get 0 and Y also can get 0. So empty group is allowed. Speak out. Have you understand? So it means 10 identical objects distribution into the two. Anyway, this is the, what the meaning of the equation. Nothing else. When we say integral solution, positive integral solution, this is the what the meaning. So this question we no need to do manually. We can say I am having 10 identical object. I want to distribute into 3, 2 group, empty group allowed. So we will say that 10 plus 2 minus 1, C2 minus 1, which will be 11, C1, which is 11. Whatever is coming, it's coming. I hope it, this point is clear to everyone. Right? Next, check it. Question. Let me see how many people understood. I will give directly the one of the old J question. Find integral solution of x plus y plus z equal to 20 where x greater than equal to 0, y greater than equal to 1, z greater than equal to 2. Find integral solution of x plus y plus z equal to 20 where x greater than equal to 1, y greater than equal to uh, sorry x greater than equal to 0, y greater than equal to 1, z greater than equal to 2. Very simple. Mistakes should not take place. That is the important condition.
everybody yeah, nothing is there in the question why you people are not giving answer huh? Still, some people did not give the solution. Answer, sorry, not solution, answer. Okay. By 20 object, because integral solution, they did not mention positive integral solution. Suppose somebody say, how many integral solution of this equation? I will say infinite because integer can be negative also. So this can be happen minus 1, 11 also, minus 2, 12 also. So infinite number of solution can be happen. So if this condition is not mentioned, then it will be infinite solution. But here they mention x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 1, z. So we have three container whose name is x, y, z. They are having their own conditions. X say that ki whatever you give me, I am happy. So don't touch him. Y say no, I want minimum one. So give him one. Na. Identical object giving one is very simple. One way. He wants that ki two should be there with me. Give to them. Ab now everybody equal. Everybody saying whatever you give me. Because what my minimum condition is over. Now how many objects left? 17. Three group, empty group allowed. 17 plus 3 minus 1, C3 minus 1. You can say 19 C2. That will be answer. I'm sure it's clear to everybody. If anybody did not understand, please let me know. Is it clear to everyone? Answer me this question, everybody. Quickly, no mistake. A plus find integral solution. Solution of A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 15 if a greater than equal to 1, B greater than equal to 3, C greater than equal to 2, D greater than equal to 5. Quickly everyone. Done. A greater than equal to 1. So give 1 to A plus B plus C plus D equal to. Up now what I will do. First I will give them the minimum condition. 1 given here. 
3 given here, 2 given here, 5 given here. So what is left? 5 plus 2, 7 plus 3, 10, 11. 11 here over. So 11 gone from the 15, only 4 left. Are you? It's very simple. 4 object we have to distribute into 4 group, empty group allowed. 4 plus 4 minus 1, C3. 4 minus 1 means that will become 8, 7, C3. 7, C3 is 7 by 3 into 6, C2, then the 15. And that will be 5, 35 will be the answer. I hope everybody understood the point. Clear? No. Your homework question. Find. Find. <coughs> non-negative integral solution of 4a plus b plus c equal to 24 Me 4 matlo change it please hold down 3 3a plus b plus c equal to 24. Very few people giving the answers. Everybody have to give the answers. Take time and solve it. It's not that much easy. It's not that much easy. 3a is there. Think carefully. Here, if you give the a1, this will become 3. a2, so this will become 6. So use logic and try to get the answer for this question. And make sure whatever the people are attending, they should mention the answers. If you did not get, mention it in the comment key if you did not get. I am making complete list of the, those, those, what test you are writing, what uh, the point uh, means, what the answer in the comment you are putting it. And that report will reflect. So if you want to really get correct report where is your mistake what is the your weak area to so please write test properly as well as this homework question do not skip under any circumstances all the homework question poll question will be discussed at the end after finishing your pnc lectures and today's group test only 10 question i asked to make so maybe they sent to you the link and that must be completed today itself. Only 10 questions are there, only small, small question. Uh, somebody giving the answer for this question, don't be in hurry. Answers must be checked carefully. Right? Chale, see you in the next lecture. And we will see the only one more part of the grouping and distribution. And then we will see multinomial theorem. That's all. Your PNC will get over. Right? So we'll continue in the next lecture. Thank you very much. Thank you.